So Kenya Moore and her daughter, Brooklyn, wrote a book together. Uh, The book is called Brooklyn Bound Paris. And Kenya said it appears to have sold out on Amazon within two hours. Now, she says despite it being released a few hours before her birthday today, uh, the bookseller sold out and is showing as unavailable and out of stock. She's thanked everyone for supporting her young six-year-old daughter and her dreams. Uh, But she was kind of unsure of why the book sold out because it was supposed to be print on demand. So somehow it suddenly shows um, that it's out of stock. So let's take a listen to what she had to say and then drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. I love this thing. Thank you. So can you guess where we are? Hey, everybody. It's your own kitty can you guess where we are? This is Brooklyn's birthday. It's really nice. Brooklyn's birthday, so I let her basically say where she wants to go. That looks so good. What is that? It's a roll? I think I want that instead. I wonder if I can get that and not the hibachi. I'm going to ask her. Uh, so I let Brooklyn tell us where she wants to go. She's, she's hanging out here with her baby brother, um, no Kasi. No Kelly, you want to say hi? No Kasi, say and hi. Kelly. Hi, guys. <laughs> in Brooklyn. Hi. So we just celebrated her birthday, but guess what? It's a little bittersweet because, as you guys know, we launched Brooklyn Bound Paris. It's going to be the first of the series of books where we follow Brooklyn as a young child, through the eyes of a young child, in her travels. So the first one is Brooklyn Bound Paris. And the second one, I'm gonna let you guys keep wondering about what the second one might be. But guess what happened? We broke Amazon. We broke Amazon. So the book became live on Amazon. It's on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. So we self-published the book. I believe in uh, you know, ownership and all of that. Yeah. And uh, Brooklyn co-wrote the book with me. And she's an amazing writer. Um, just the way she tells stories and her love of books and her love of reading. And so we launched the book last night. I got an email that the book went live about two hours before midnight. You don't like it? From Amazon. So immediately I started getting all these pains that people were buying the book. By 1 a.m., oh, no, the book not, became unavailable. Like, literally. Yes, you can have it. Yes, baby. He didn't bring you yours? You can have it. The book became unavailable. This looks so good. Where's your napkin? Put your napkin on your lap. Can I have one of those book volcano okay, rolls? Okay. Thank you. Um, the book became unavailable. We crashed Amazon. It's sold out in less than two hours. So, on the one hand, I'm really happy about that. And on the other hand, I'm like sad because so many people didn't get a chance to actually get to be, to support Brooklyn on her birthday or at all. And it's important to support young kids and their dreams and endeavors. Um, and that's what the book is about. Fostering like a sense of uh, love for reading and children, adventure, dreaming big, entrepreneurship. It's about all that. And it was sorted by Amazon because the book was sold out. And how do you sell out a, an on-demand printing? Yeah, like, how do you sell out on-demand? Yes. So, yeah, I have a lot of questions, and it feels like I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to say positive, but it just feels very strange that, you know, if the book is print on demand, that means when you demand it, they print it. And the people who did order it, including myself, um, the book is going to be delivered in just two days on Monday. So, how come you don't have any books to sell? And why is it saying unavailable on Amazon? Uh, anyway, 
Uh, can you guys hang in there with us while we figure out the Amazon issue of why the book is now unavailable and why it's sold out so quickly? Um, it's a little heartbreaking because I wanted Brooklyn to wake up to numbers that are like, you know, insane. Like, you know, she's the number one, you know, best-selling author. Those are my dreams for her. Uh, fried rice. Yes, please. And so, uh, anyway, I, I don't want to be rude. The chef, the hibachi chef just got here. And I don't want to be rude. I need to give my attention. Her brother. Here's her play brother. Her very close friend. Uh, everybody who is family doesn't have to be related to you. So it's her brother, but just not by blood. So listen, guys. Happy birthday to Brooklyn. She is now six. And... I will keep you informed on when the book is actually available again on Amazon. But thank you for selling out the book in less than two hours. I really appreciate it. Brooklyn appreciate it. appreciates it. And we are hoping to become number one when it's back. We're going to make Brooklyn the youngest selling number one author on Amazon. Thank you. We love you, Team Twirl. Thank you for sticking with us. And happy birthday to my baby. Bye. Well, look at Little Miss Brooklyn crashing the Amazon site. I guess I'm just going to assume they couldn't keep up with the demand of the orders and getting them out in the two-day time frame uh, most times. Uh, but drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And hopefully the next book will be Brooklyn bound to Kenya since we know her and uh, her mother were just there not too long ago and happy sixth birthday to little miss Brooklyn little miss author uh, we look forward to seeing more books from her drop down in the comments you guys wish Brooklyn a happy birthday and thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys in the next video